Calculus might sound intimidating, but it's really just a fancy way of describing how things change. At the heart of calculus are three key ideas, limits, derivatives, and integrals. These concepts might seem abstract at first, but they have countless applications in the real world. Imagine trying to measure the speed of a cheetah at a single moment in time, or figuring out the area of an irregularly shaped lake. These are the types of questions that calculus helps us answer. By understanding limits, we can analyze what happens as values approach a certain point. Derivatives help us quantify rates of change like the speed of that cheetah. Integrals allow us to calculate the total effect of change over time or space like the area of that lake. In the following sections, we'll demystify these concepts, providing you with a solid foundation in the basics of calculus. Get ready to discover the power and elegance of this fundamental branch of mathematics. Imagine you're walking towards a wall. With each step you take, you get closer and closer to the wall, but you never actually reach it. Limits work in a similar way. They help us understand what happens as a value gets infinitely close to a particular point, even if it never quite gets there. Think about the function f of x equals 1 over x. As x gets larger and larger, the value of f of x gets closer and closer to zero, but it never actually reaches zero. We say that the limit of f of x as x approaches infinity is zero. Limits are essential for understanding the behavior of functions at points where they might not be defined. They provide a way to analyze what happens as we approach these points, even if we can't directly evaluate the function there. This concept of approaching a value without actually reaching it might seem a bit strange at first, but it's crucial for understanding many concepts in calculus and beyond. Limits might seem like an abstract mathematical concept, but they have surprising applications in the real world. For example, imagine you're designing a bridge. You need to know how much weight the bridge can handle before it collapses. Engineers use limits to model the behavior of materials under stress. By understanding the limit of a material's strength, they can design structures that are safe and reliable. Limits also pop up in financial models helping economists predict market behavior. By analyzing trends and using limits, they can estimate things like stock prices and interest rates. From predicting the weather to designing airplanes, limits are an essential tool for understanding and modeling the world around us. They allow us to make predictions about complex systems, even when we can't measure everything perfectly. Derivatives are all about understanding how things change. More specifically, they tell us the instantaneous rate of change of a function at a particular point. Think of it like the speedometer in your car. It doesn't tell you the total distance you've traveled. It tells you how fast you're going at this very moment. For example, imagine you're on a roller coaster. The derivative of your position function would tell you your velocity at any given point in time. If the derivative is positive, you're moving upwards. If it's negative, you're moving downwards. And the steeper the slope of the roller coaster, the greater your velocity. Mathematically, the derivative of a function is represented by its slope at a particular point. We can find this slope by drawing a tangent line to the curve at that point. The steeper the tangent line, the greater the derivative, and the faster the rate of change. Derivatives are essential for understanding a wide range of phenomena, from the motion of objects to the spread of diseases. Section 5, Derivatives in Action, Analyzing Motion and Growth. Derivatives are incredibly useful for analyzing real-world situations involving change. For instance, in physics, velocity is the derivative of position, and acceleration is the derivative of velocity. This means that if we know an object's position as a function of time, we can use derivatives to find its velocity and acceleration at any given moment. Derivatives are also widely used in fields like economics and biology. For example, economists use derivatives to study the rate of change of economic indicators like GDP and inflation. Biologists use them to model population growth, the spread of diseases and the effects of environmental factors on ecosystems. By understanding how to calculate and interpret derivatives, we can gain valuable insights into the behavior of complex systems across a wide range of disciplines. Section 6 Integrals Explained Piecing Together the Whole Integrals are often described as the opposite of derivatives. While derivatives break a function down into its infinitesimal parts, integrals allow us to put those parts back together, giving us the total accumulated change over a given interval. Imagine you're filling a bathtub. The water flowing from the faucet represents a rate of change. 
the amount of water entering the tub per unit of time. The integral of this rate of change over a certain period would tell you the total amount of water that flowed into the tub during that time. Graphically, an integral represents the area under a curve. For example, if we graph the speed of a car over time, the area under the curve would represent the total distance traveled by the car. Integrals provide a powerful tool for calculating quantities that are difficult or impossible to measure directly. Section 7. Integrals at Work from areas to accumulated change. Integrals have numerous applications in the real world. For example, architects use integrals to calculate the volume of irregularly shaped buildings. Engineers use them to determine the amount of material needed to build bridges, dams, and other structures. In physics, integrals are used to calculate work, energy, and momentum. For example, the work done by a force on an object can be calculated by integrating the force over the distance the object moves. Integrals also play a crucial role in fields like statistics, probability, and finance. By allowing us to calculate areas under curves and volumes of solids, integrals provide a way to quantify complex phenomena and make predictions about the behavior of systems over time. Section 8. The Interplay of Calculus. A Powerful Trio. Limits, derivatives, and integrals are not isolated concepts, they are deeply interconnected and work together to form the foundation of calculus. Limits provide the groundwork for understanding derivatives and integrals, allowing us to analyze functions at infinitesimal levels. Derivatives provide the tools to analyze instantaneous rates of change, while integrals allow us to calculate accumulated change over time or space. Together they provide a powerful framework for understanding the behavior of dynamic systems. This interconnectedness is what makes calculus such a powerful tool for solving real-world problems. By combining these three concepts, we can analyze complex systems, make predictions about their behavior, and design solutions to a wide range of challenges. Section 9, Conclusion Calculus, a gateway to understanding our world. Calculus, far from being an esoteric branch of mathematics, is a fundamental tool for understanding the world around us. From the motion of planets to the spread of diseases, from the design of bridges to the prediction of financial markets, calculus provides the framework for analyzing change, modeling complex systems, and solving real-world problems. By grasping the concepts of limits, derivatives, and integrals, we unlock a deeper understanding of how things work, enabling us to make more informed decisions and create innovative solutions across a wide range of disciplines. As we continue to explore the intricacies of the natural world and the complexities of human society, calculus will undoubtedly remain an indispensable tool for generations to come.